Okay, so let's go through attitudes and movements now. Attitudes and movements, remember, are going to be the foundational piece of your flying. So, you Please may remember the basic attitudes that we have and the movements associated with them. So the first one we're going to look at right now is cruise. And as you can see right here, I'm in normal cruise, and this is where everything starts from. Now, in the 172, what we've actually got is a speed of about 2200 RPM. We end up with an airspeed of 105 knots, and I've also got, most importantly, when I look at the ground, I've got one-third ground, two-thirds sky. So this is looking absolutely perfect for a normal cruise. Take a look as well at each side of the wings. As I look at each side, each of the wings, I can see they're parallel to the horizon and that they're equal heights above the horizon as well. So there you go, that's normal cruise. One third ground, two thirds sky, 2200 RPM, and in the 172, 105 knots, 152, I might get about, you know, 85 to 90 if I'm lucky. So, cruise attitude, from there, we could go to a nose up attitude. So, for nose up attitude, remember, what we're gonna do is we're going to pitch. That's the movement associated. So in this case, what I would do is I'd grab the control column, and I will pull back. I'm gonna see less ground, and then it, of course what's gonna happen is my attitude indicator is gonna show slightly nose up, altimeter will start to go up, airspeed will decrease, and my VSI will also go up. So let's try that. Let's move to a nose up attitude. Pulling back on the control column, elevator is moving back there. If I look back, I could see it. And there you go, look at that. Not a whole lot of ground there anymore, but a whole pile of sky. And there we go, airspeed decreasing, altimeter increasing, VSI also going up. Look out the sides at the wings. Notice how they're no longer parallel to the horizon. They're now inclined slightly upwards. So this is a nose up attitude. Now, of course, to recover from this nose up attitude, what I'm gonna need to do is now pitch forward back to the cruise attitude. So let's pitch forward until I've got one third ground, two thirds sky, so it's right about there. As I'm patient and I let the airplane adapt to this new attitude, it's soon going to speed up. Look out to the left, look out to the right. Wings are definitely parallel to the horizon and at the same distance from the horizon as well. Airspeed has just about reached 105 knots again. So there we are. Now I've got my nice cruise attitude again. Next one, of course, is related a little bit to descents and that would be the nose down attitude. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pitch forward. As I pitch forward, more ground, less sky, airspeed will go up, attitude indicator will show slightly nose down, uh, altimeter is gonna go down, and the VSI will definitely show that I'm going down as well. So, ready? Here we go, nose down attitude. Pitch forward, nose goes down, look at that. Half ground, half sky. So that's looking pretty good now. Whenever this is unwinding, this is increasing. Airspeed is increasing too. Look at the wings. Wings are definitely pointed down relative to the horizon. So now what I'm gonna do is getting close to 2,000 feet, which is what I want now. I'm gonna pitch for cruise again. So nose slightly up, back to one third sky, or sorry, one third ground, two thirds sky, wings level. This looks good. I'm back to my cruising attitude. Now, next up for attitudes, we've got, well, bank. So bank, of course, is caused by rolling. And to do the rolling, we need to use our ailerons left and right. So this is very closely related to turning. I'm gonna do a good look out to the left. So here goes our entry into a banked attitude. So. Here we are, rolling left, so aileron left. Once I get to my desired bank angle right there, I'm gonna neutralize the aileron. See that, how I went to neutral? And there we are. Now, because I'm banked, the aircraft is starting a turn. So, airspeed is staying the same, attitude indicator is showing a bank, altitude is staying the same, BSI is staying the same, but look at the heading indicator and the turn coordinator. They're both changing. Once I get to the desired heading, or just before, now I roll opposite, a little bit of rudder in there as well, and neutralize once I get to my desired heading. 
So there we go. That's a banked attitude. I'll do one more banked attitude just to the right here. So looking out, it's all clear to the right. So ready, ailerons in. Gonna need a small amount of rudder with that as well. We'll talk more about that in turns. And there we go, now I'm banking to the right by rolling to the right. So I'm gonna continue this uh, banked attitude for just a few more moments until we're heading directly west. Remember, I started out south, and then I banked and rolled until we were on a heading of east. Now I'm turning back and I'm heading towards west. In Manitoba, it's really, really handy because we have all these grid roads here. So what I typically do, as soon as I know the direction of any given grid road, then I'm going to use those grid roads to alter and change all of my headings. So just really handy out here in Manitoba. See this road here that we're coming up to? I'm going to level off on that road and we'll be heading west. So roll, a little bit of rudder. There we go. Now I'm heading directly west. Now to finish attitudes and movements, you may well remember that the final item doesn't really have an attitude associated with it, but it sure does have a movement. And as a pilot, this is one of the most uncomfortable kind of movements that there is. And we're always trying to control this particular movement. So this one is, of course, yaw. Now I'm going to have to cheat a little bit as I show you some of the yaw, and that's because if I yaw, I'm also going to induce a roll. So you may see me apply slightly opposite aileron as I introduce the yaw. But let's look at this road here that's straight ahead of us to the north, or to the west, sorry. Getting my directions all, or directions all mixed up. So here I am heading west, and what's gonna happen is the nose is going to move left as I apply the rudder relative to the actual road. And if you were in the airplane right now, you would feel that this is very uncomfortable. It's like a fish flopping around out of a lake or out of water. So, ready? Here we go. Applying left rudder. So, there you go. See that yaw? See how the nose is moving off relative to that road? That is yawing. Now, I'm going to instead yaw off to the right now. Now, this is not the proper way to turn an airplane. If you start turning an airplane by trying to yaw, you're going to get up into a whole bunch of world of hurt. So there we are. I'm just going to notice how I'm no longer aligned with this road. So what I'm going to do to get myself lined back up is I'm going to bank a little bit once I'm lined up. And now I'm going to roll. There we go. Now I'm parallel that road again. Just to show you yaw, I'm not actually going to apply any aileron here this time. And I'm just going to quickly go rudder left, rudder right, rudder left, rudder right. Are you ready? There we go. Rudder right, rudder left, rudder right, rudder left, rudder right. Now, if you were in this airplane here like the technician is in the back, you're going to get terribly sick. In fact, I might quit this because it looks like he's reaching for the, yeah, he's uh, reaching for the uh, air sickness bag. Okay, that's enough of this lesson then. That's attitudes and movements for you. Let's uh, move on then to straight and level.